Hello everyone, this is the Windows Tech Channel. In today's video, well, this is actually my first video since like March of 2020. So I definitely apologize for the lack of videos within like three months. Today is um, June 19th of 2020. And many of, you, many of you guys know the last video I did was the um, Gateway MX6448, you know, overview. And I actually do have a video on, um, on how to factory reset the system. I just need to publish it. <laughs> But today's video, um, we are going to be seeing the MX6448 again. It's just that today, I just got this in my mailbox. This is what I ordered off eBay, like, I believe it was sometime this week, or last week, or something like that, and it, and it just arrived in my mailbox. Um, this is a, this is a piece of foreign software that I have, that, um, that when I saw on eBay, I was just like, you know what, this can make for a great video on my, uh, on the Windows Tech channel. Um, we haven't even, we have not even had a look at, <clears throat> we have not even had a look at, um, software on the channel yet. So, um, so as you guys just heard in the background, I just started to open the, uh, package and this is the under peripheral it comes in. And yeah, I cannot wait to show you guys the side of the day. This, now this item was not cheap. It cost me just $30 to, it, this thing cost $30 online to order. All right, so let's have a look at the product. And even though the product does have major wear, it is still a cool item to own. This is a copy of Microsoft Office XP. But as you can, but as you can guys obviously tell, this is the Japanese release. As you can see, this is designed for Windows XP 2000, Millennium, 98, and NT. We are going to be installing this All Might Gateway MX6448. All right, and I'll show you guys the entirety of the box. Yeah, um, this is, this, um, the top side is basically just, you know, completely worn, and then, and then here's your back side, this has, this, uh, <clears throat> now this basically just has, um, now it's called Office XP Personal, so it only contains Microsoft Word, Excel, and Outlook, and, and it also comes with Microsoft Bookshelf Basic 3.0. So, this is basically a, this is basically pretty much cool packaging, I my I myself cannot read Japanese, so so um I, well, I cannot speak Japanese yet. I'm I'm trying to um I'm actually trying to learn the language so I can so I can understand and read this well. But um I will probably translate this for some of you guys. But um let's have a look inside. So um so inside you would get your I mean <laughs> what would you expect? It comes with this little, um, I want to say this is a um, a uh, start guide or something like that. And um, I will be putting this, I will be putting the CD on my internet archive page in case you guys want it. I have a feeling that this should work properly on my MX64 rates. I don't, I don't think, I don't really think it's region locked or anything. And the CD is actually sealed. It has never been opened since it left the factory in. 2002 or something like that so we're going to be breaking this top seal now and actually it is worth noting i do have and i do have an american office xp professional cd but it is the post sp3 update version i have actually yet to acquire an english copy of office xp professional all right, so if I could just get everything out. All right, so here's the CD-ROM from, yes, this has um, Word, Excel, Outlook, and Internet Explorer 5.01. So this is actually pretty cool. And then, of course, you have your little pamphlet here, which just has the, or not pamphlet, but, you know, the information which contains the CD key. And then you got this like start guide now this is like the real start guide this is like the it's like an overview of absolutely everything that you would get in here you know just, this is just pretty basic stuff if you guys can read japanese then kudos to you <laughs> and then you just have a bunch of um and then you have a bunch of registration cards which who even needs this this is outdated and then you got the little um um, this is like the contents, I want to say. Then you have like... 
some info here. I have no idea what any of this says, so... I mean, if you guys... I mean, if you guys know what these say, then, again, kudos to you. Alright, so, with that said, um, that's basically pretty much a buy it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and boot up the MX6448 and install Office XP Personal. And I actually do apologize about the glare in the background. My blinds are open. So, um, so, um, once again, we got our copy of Office XP Personal. And this is the Gateway MX6448 install of Windows XP Media Center US release. All right, let's go ahead and get it installed. And see what all we got. All right, so, um, in the Inner Archive link, I will also be leaving the CD key. Or the product key. Yeah. This has left the factory like many years ago. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, very instantly, it changes the Windows installer to Japanese. And this is like a welcome message. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and. Oh, what? Oh, what? Is it not compatible? Alright, so I don't think it's compatible on any American release since we are, since technically we, since we technically do have a, uh, since we do technically have Office on this, um, computer. Where is it? Um, yeah, as you can see, there's, um, PowerPoint Viewer 2003, but... You know, yeah, I didn't think this would happen. I mean, Office 10 right there. I wonder if this is going to be compatible on um one of my other PCs I own. Yeah, so I'm going to actually translate this real quick, and then I'll be right back. Oh, never mind, apparently. It just decided to start working again. All right, so it's asking for a name. Then, I'm just going to type in that we work for YouTube. Alright, so I'm going to have to put in the product key now, so I will be right back. Alright, so our product key was accepted, and we are now graded to the EULA, which I definitely read this. And then, it'll ask us if we want to do a... Now, I'm actually done in, um, in a... Uh, Office 2003 installation before, and I can easily, I can, I can already tell what this says. This says, do you want a typical install or a custom install, where you can just pick and choose what you want to install. We are obviously going to be um, doing the custom install, which, yes, um, basically it'll, basically it'll ask like, um, what you want in here. So, uh, um, IME I think is Internet Explorer. Outlook, Excel, and Word. We're going to be leaving all of those checked. And then we're going to go ahead and just let everything install. And I'll meet you guys on the other side. All right, so basically, I think this translates to we're done. Microsoft Office XP Professional. What? Yeah, it basically just doesn't know what to do here because it's supposed to be displaying Japanese characters, but I'm guessing that, you know, it it doesn't know what it's supposed to do, so it's just displaying question marks. And then... Well, I'm pretty sure it installed. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go! As you can see it... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just... Oh my god, that's funny. I'm like, let's have a look. Oh, and um, I also did put um, my copy of Rise of Legends on there, an instant immersion Japanese, and of course my Logitech Quick Cam, which is technically Oddware. All right, so let's have a look at each of these products. We're gonna start with Microsoft Word, and I can also take the disc out as well. So we're technically done with it. Um, I. <coughs> That's weird. 
All right, so actually, I'm not going to be putting this back in the thing since I'm about to, since I'm going to make an ISO of this. But um, I am going to be keeping it safe by putting it back in the CD sleeve for now. So I wonder how I should put this in. Like, I think I should put it in like this. I just don't want the sticky side to touch the disc. So um, this is actually pretty cool. So, as you can see here, but I'm just closing the box. So as you can see here, I think this is like a license agreement. You can just scroll down. And then, oops. All right, so, is this like activation? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to activate this copy of, um... <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Is there any way we can close out of this? Alright, so we are still able to use... Um, Office XP, but I think it's, but, um, I think it's, like, I could be wrong, but, um, I think you're only allowed to access the software, like, 25 times before it goes into a reduced functionality mode. I could be wrong, again, I could be wrong, so if any one of you guys knows, like, for real, then, um, then let me know in the comment section, but, um, you know, let's just type something in here, because... Alright, so it still displays in English and everything, because we have a US keyboard. Alright, so, I wonder if it's going to ask us to save. And Alright, so, let's launch Excel, and see how that looks. And again, we're just going to X out of this. So, this is basically like a standard copy of Excel, you just make spreadsheets, but... Again, I just don't read Japanese as well. And then, and then finally, let's look at Outlook. If it even tries to make me get an internet connection. Oh. <laughs> what? What am I looking at? <laughs> Outlook 2002. Oh, but, 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 but. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god! No! Oh jeez! Oh jeez! But yeah, uh, um, what's uh? Mm. Oh. I assume this is because of the Google, um, the Google desktop on the, on our taskbar. Anyways, yeah, this is, this is not that bad. I mean, let's have a look at the other peripherals of Office, of what it, ins of what it installed. Um, I believe this is like... Hmm, I wonder what that is. Um... Yeah, I can't really translate this well, but, you know, basically, um, so this is, so that is what Office XP personal Japanese version would look like if you installed it on any of your guys' computers. I would technically not recommend installing this on your North American computers, but, um, I mean, you know, it's fun to try out, you know? So, um, that's gonna wrap up today's video, and I will see you guys in a future video. Which actually, no, next video is going to be one of the greatest videos that you might see on this channel.